about y'all and I do expand now I will expand on what I said in my previous video how mine wants me to hence I do it I was to please mine so that's how I have no reason always I want to go backwards but I will I will clarify all of it how I said I do not like Mimi that much I noticed that how did I notice that? Not because of the drawing, no. I was grateful. He's such a good person. The mindset on the worldview of integrating. And he was responsible, that was nice to see. Well, yeah, well. And... <coughs> okay, I'll tell you. The one memory I have is this. He said to me, Later, when he hooked me out there in La DDR, that's East Germany, RDA, right, in English. Um, he said, I'm gonna say it in German first. Wenn du mir gesagt hast, dass du drei, no, als du mir gesagt hattest, dass du 13 warst, ist mir fast das Lenkrad aus der Hand gefallen. So he gave me a ride once, from the group to maybe the subway, I don't know, somewhere where I could go public transportation back to my house to the other side of Hamburg, I guess. He said, when you told me that you were 13, I, was, I almost lost the steering wheel out of my hand. Uh, he said that. Well, I look like 17, maybe. So that is one thing. Maybe I needed a daddy. Remember, and we changed house, and I was traumatized from seventh to eighth grade, and then he was there. Huh. I'm not sure. I'm listening. He could have prevented what the Peter story. I hear that in the field. not unrelated oh he made a move to protect me ah oh, I get it so he had to figure it out because in that area he was quite impressed that he made a move on me because of the, the hyenas around could be yes he was paternal I felt safe with him. Okay, I'll tell you why I did not really like him that much. As a man. Because years, years later, I made inventory. I just sat down. I thought I had to make inventory. Figure and trigger everything. So I, I looked into the Mimi story. That was many years later. And I figured that I, I started to feel a little bit guilty. Because I thought I didn't really like him. I should not have, maybe. No, I did not have any choice in my destiny. But the fact that I felt like guilty that I didn't really like him that much. Particularly because, he not that he brought me to Dortmund, to the um, music festival from La Esteriot, from the Esteriot. That was cool, we did, we did that thing together. Yeah, was it summer? I'm not sure. Yeah, we were already not, already not together. But I thought that um, the dinner, he brought me to this French restaurant. We had bouillabaisse in Hamburg. It was so expensive. It was a sacrifice, but it wasn't for him. Yeah, he might have eaten for two or three weeks. <laughs> a week or so. To f afford that, but he wanted to. That was an act of love. And that was like, man, that was like admirable. Unconditional, because we are ended now for the second time, and he gave me a gift. So, man, so... And I even said goodbye when I left Germany, that was a few years later then. Because I felt I owed him that much. I saw him in his house, home, with his wife. I felt sorry, because I noticed he doesn't, he doesn't like her that much as me he always oh he told me he wished to marry me when i was like 16. i looked at him i said wow no way 
So when I look back and all the noble acts I noticed, I don't even didn't like him that much. I should not have encouraged it, but I didn't encourage it. I never called him. I never went alone to his house, home. I don't remember many details. I have no idea how often I saw him. I have no clue. No, he only came once to my house that day when I had ended the relationship after a year. And then he over overnighted that. Wait, two times. Once, twice. Okay, but see, I don't even remember. So that was that. And then there's another story. That was gruesome and cruel. Pavarotti. Well, the first time he showed me his face. Yeah, man, that was like right after the formalization. Formalizing that thing, man. Yeah, at the beach. Yeah, let alone all the little acts he put out like that. That was gruesome. At no avail. Just like that. In Puerto Escondido, too. And I was middle in it. And I... Oh, never mind, not to say it yet. The last time I went to Europe. Germany. When I came back. That time, I had to stay there for so long because of the ticket for 10% off and no I'm sorry I'm sorry the ticket I got from the airline Lufthansa at the price of 10% when I came back and he picked me up from the airport I think he said on the bus I looked at this guy I don't even want to say man and I said what the <laughs> I don't want to say the word what the who is that person I don't love this person at all I don't like him I don't love him He's a stranger, he's a tiny little roach. Shit, next to me. Yeah, what was I expecting? Sophia, shit. Crucifying. Well, I can be kind, I can be nice, friendly. And I was. But that was so harsh to me, to my emotion, to get to that realization. Get so weak in the knees, I can hardly speak. I lose all control. And something takes over me in a daze. Your love so amazing, it's not a phase. I want you to stay with me by your side. I swallow my pride. 